Welcome back, guys, to the Orlando Huskies franchise. It is week 17 of season 7. The 9 and 6 Huskies taking on the 4 and 11 Giants here in New York. Huskies coming off of three straight losses and have yet to clinch a playoff spot. They could do so today with a win as the Giants kick you. Kick returners off to the races. A huge kick return down to the 49 yard line. And a bad start for the Huskies on special teams. But the healthy or the Huskies healthy for the most part here in week 17. Finally, after a long stretch of injuries. But Lucas Elam. 2,700 yards on the season, 16 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. And they're definitely going to have to take advantage of some poor passes from Elam today. Still without Nick Kitchens, really the only big injury, but a first and 10 for the Giants. And the running backs off to the races to begin. Bishop and Shane tackle Mahler down at the 28 after a 21-yard pickup. As it's first and 10 from the 28 now. Elam under center. They go with a stretch to the right. And a couple of big jukes by Mollard. Picks up four on the carry. Now he's second and six from the 24. He bunched to the right. Larry Sims comes in, can't get him, but Dylan forces a pass breakup and a really nice job by Dylan to punch that ball out of the hands of the receiver. Now bringing up a third and six from the 24 yard line. Husky send a blitz here. Nobody gets home, he throws one up and incomplete out the back of the end zone. Shane with nice coverage downfield and the Giants are going to have to settle for three here. On their opening drive, stalled out after a really good kick return and a really nice run on the first play of the game for them. Three nothing lead for the Giants as Gage is back there to return this kick. Couple yards deep in the end zone. And Gage breaks a tackle, but only brings it to the 25 yard line. And that's where the offense will begin. Josh coming out onto the field without Drew Stevens as well. Steven Sutherland will be the lead back. 4,200 yards, 39 touchdowns, 19 interceptions for Josh this season. Has been an up and down season, definitely for him. Looking to end it on a high note and clinch the division here. First and 10 now. Sutherland met in the backfield for a loss of two on the play. Looks like a Giants linebacker hurt on the very first offensive play for the Huskies. Now a second and 12 from the 23. Empty look here for the Huskies. They go with a receiver screen to Connor Kelly. And Connor has a lot of room and a great block from Anthony Reddick. Connor Kelly off to the races. 20, 15, 10. And he's into the end zone. What a play by Connor Kelly. Connor Kelly just like that. 77 yard touchdown. And the Huskies have a lead. And great blocking from Anthony Raddick downfield really set the pay for him to run through everybody. And the speed from Connor, pain, paying off here. As Rosenberg and McMillan with a nice tackle down at the 18 yard line. That's where the Giants will begin their second drive of the quarter. The Giants go with a run here. Shane stiff arm down. But Darrell White able to tackle him from behind for only a gain of eight. Now it's second and two from the 26. Elam under center. 
Drops back to pass. The Huskies send a blitz here. And a nice throw and catch from Elam to Ford. With a diving Dylan on the play. Couldn't, or Steven saying I should say, couldn't break it up. The Huskies send another blitz and a bad throw from Elam. Great coverage by Keith Jackson. Goes incomplete on the play. As we are playing a former Husky today in Javon Young. Free safety for the Giants. See if he'll make any plays for him as Elam checks it down to Mollard. And stiff army Kirkpatrick finally brought down by Travis McCain. Bringing up a third and seven now from the 36 yard line. As he's going downfield and wide open is a receiver, breaks a tackle, and into the end zone he goes. There's a flag on the play, though, and we'll see what it is. Could be coming back for a hold, and it is a hold on the New York Giants. McKee with an awful hold. This takes away a huge touchdown for the Giants. Now we'll see if the Huskies defense can get them off the field. But Travis McCain beat on the play by the tight end. Tackled down at the 45. And Ramsey got off the line quickly on that play. Brings up a first and 10 from the 45. Now Elam under center. Another stretch play to Mollard. Juan Coles behind him. Spun out. Tackled down by Keith Jackson at the 25. First and 10 from the 25 now. Giants moving the ball pretty easily. Go with a check down here. Kirkpatrick's out of position. Brings down Ramsey though at the 11. Now a first and 10 from the 11. Giants looking to take the lead here. As he throws one up. Deflected away and Shane nearly caught the rebounds pick but couldn't hang on what a play by Shane O'Neal now a second and 10 from the 11 yard line empty look here for the Giants as a blitz is or the pressure is coming in Caden gets him and McCain couldn't pick it off back to back plays couldn't come away with the interception Now brings up a third and 10 from the 11 yard line. Right over Darrell White's head, but incomplete with a really bad throw from Elam. The Giants will have to settle for three here after two near interceptions. And the kick's up and it's good. The Giants only down one here. See if the Huskies offense can hit another explosive play like they did to Connor. As Gage will get it from the goal line. Plenty of room to run. Tackle down hard at the 19 yard line. First and 10 from the 19 now. Josh and Gunn. The handoff to Sutherland. Breaks the tackle. Able to pick up seven on the carry. He had a really nice game last week. 83 yards on 12 carries with a touchdown in the loss. Heartbreaking loss to the Las Vegas Raiders. Second and three now from the 26-yard line. Josh staying and gun here. Play action pass. As he was hit as he tried to throw it. Had Damian open, just couldn't get him the ball. Brings up a big third and three now. Empty look here for the Huskies. As Jarvis Peterson with a bad drop would have picked up the first down and more. As Jarvis started the year pretty well and then just has been going downhill ever since. 
Nice tackle there from Rosenberg. First and 10 from the 30 now. See if the Huskies defense could force a stop and Caden in on the play, hitting Elam and Vigil Hatcher hurt on the play. And not a good sign as the D-line finally was getting healthy and now Vigil Hatcher hurt on the play. And a, a risky throw and Caden now hurt. The injuries to this defense are start, starting to pile up. It's Trey Gordon will be in the game now. Third and three from the 37. As CJ Hunter absolutely drilled him. As Dylan with a nice play downfield. CJ could. Vigil Hatcher will be back, which is good news. But CJ could, wouldn't allow Elam to step up into the pocket to throw it. Forcing an underthrow, and Dylan nearly came away with a pick, but a punt by the Giants. Huge for the Huskies. So Reddick gets it down to the 19 yard line, and a dislocated shoulder for Caden. And just a couple of disappointing seasons for Caden recently, especially due to injuries. But a first and 10 from the 19. The handoff to Sutherland. He's able to pick up four on the carry. Second and six now from the 23-yard line. Josh had Hunter and was bumped by the man on Sutherland. Josh has yet to hit another pass outside of that huge completion. Now a third and six, last play of the first quarter. And another incompletion by Josh. Giants playing some really nice defense here. Outside of one play, Huskies set up seven to six to start the second quarter, but can't really get anything going on offense as James Aldridge will kick this one deep. A nice tackle there by Dylan, down at the 33-yard line. Looks like the Giants' kick pun returner is down with an injury. Empty look here for the Giants. Huskies send a blitz. And a perfect throw from Elam. As multiple broken tackles by the receiver. Finally brought down at the 29-yard line. And the Giants are in field goal range once again here. First and 10 from the 29. Huskies send another blitz. Lobs one up deep. And Keith Jackson burnt. By Robertson into the end zone. Touchdown, New York Giants. And Elam with two very good throws on that drive. Giving the Giants the lead 13 to 7 here. Early in the second quarter. This gauge just kind of fair catch that one and the Huskies offense will begin their drive at the 25 yard line but gonna have to get something going a couple of drops couple of bad throws and first and 10 now from the 25 Josh under center as he's hit as he tried to throw it just a little bit out of the reach from Peterson second and 10 now from the 25 The handoff to Steven Sutherland. Picks up three on the carry. Bringing up another huge third and seven. The Huskies go with an empty look here. As Josh is going to take off on this one. Sliding down at the 40-yard line. A first down for the Huskies. Finally moving the, drop, moving the chains. Now he first and 10 from the 40-yard line. Go right back to Sutherland on the carry. Seven yards again. Second and three now from the 47-yard line. Four receivers set here for the Huskies. A play-action pass. As Josh tried to go across the middle. Now Benji Wilson. 
hurt once again this season and the injuries this week are not looking good for the Huskies. Third and three, play action pass. Josh on the run, hits Damien for the first down. Powering his way forward down to the 37. Only Josh's second completion of the game. Bruised ribs for Benji Wilson. Ford will continue in this drive. And until Wilson can stay on the field, a first and 10 from the 37 now. And Josh is down on the play by Bake Barker, I should say. It's Frank Webster beat on the inside. Second and 16 now from the 43 yard line. Empty look. Josh downfield to Damien. Wide open on the play. And a perfect throw under pressure. Into the end zone, Damien goes. And the Huskies have the lead once again. 14 to 3 ball game now, midway through the second quarter. Is a perfect throw from Josh getting drilled. As James Aldridge will kick this one deep. There's a Giants kick returner. Tough to bring down. Finally, gang tackled at the 21 yard line. Nick Mollard, four carries, 53 yards. They've gone away from him a little bit, but still finding ways to score. As Elam now has his X Factor, a first and 10 from the 21. With a play action pass here. CJ Hunter in on the play. A quick throw to the check down, though, picks up four. CJ was about to lay out Elam once again. Now a second and six from the 25 yard line. Elon back under center. As Donovan Grimes with the sack. Donovan Grimes. Hasn't had a huge role this season, but due to injuries, he's played a lot more and has come, come away with a ton more sacks. Third and 11 from the 21. They go with a screen play and CJ with a nice job deflecting it. Forcing a three and out by the Giants. But due to the injuries, Grimes has stepped up big. As Anthony Reddick is back there to return the punt. And Kirkpatrick has to hit that block and he's off to the races if he does. Josh in the offense back out on the field. Sec first and 10 from the 30. Isaiah Flynn in the backfield now. Really nice blocking on this right side as Flynn picks up nine on the carry, trying to truck his way through a safety. Second and one from the 39. Now Josh in gun. For the two-minute warning. Huskies up 14 to 13. Struggling in this one to score and get stops. Trying to take. A bigger lead here right before half. Second and one. Empty look here for the Huskies. As Josh goes down once again. For I believe the third time this game already. A little slow to get up there. Third and six now from the 33. A minute 30 left in this half. As right on the money and Hunter can't hang on to it. It's the second drop of the game for the Huskies, and Hunter has to come away with that one. That was a really good ball under pressure. As James Aldridge will kick this one deep. It's Tyrone Johnson with a nice tackle there at the 28-yard line. First and 10 from the 28 now. Dylan overran the route, played it perfectly, just overran it. And now a first and 10 from the 40 with a minute left and ticking. And Vizzle Hatcher is coming in on that play. Travis McCain with a very nice tackle, but another first down for the Giants. And Elam is dealing right now. First and 10 from the 47. He goes with a check down in. 
a really nice play by Gage as McKee is hurt on that play. He had a costly hold for the Giants early in the game. This Gage now with his X Factor lit up. Second and ten. Right across the middle. Gage was in the area. A perfect throw from Elam down to the 21 yard line and the Giants are moving quickly. Timeout by the Giants at the third 21 with 36 seconds left. Elam drops back the pass and Dylan nowhere to be found. Pushed out at the 21 yard or 7 yard line with 31 seconds left. First and goal. Giants only with one timeout remaining. As Keith Jackson couldn't get behind, but they're saying that's a catch, and I don't know about that one. And you can't challenge it. So I guess it's a touchdown. Did not look like he got his feet in. Would would have liked to challenge that one, but touchdown Giants Keith Jackson just a step behind and now the Giants with a six-point lead right before halftime the Huskies struggling on both sides of the ball once again Gage brings it to the 19 23 seconds left all three timeouts for the Huskies see what they if they can get something going maybe get in field goal range here with first and ten bunch to the right As Peterson with another drop. And an awful game by these Huskies receivers right now. Second and 10 from the 19. This one goes to Sutherland and nothing going on that play. No huddle. Final play of the half here. Just going to throw one up. As Josh is his, he even tried to throw it incomplete and the Giants are dominating once again and we've played three bad teams in a row and they have looked better than us struggling again and again this gauge is gonna fair catch that one in the end zone this is our fourth straight game playing a team with a losing record. And we're losing at the moment. All Giants really outside of one play. As Sutherland takes the carry. A good juke tackle down at the 30. Outside of the Connor Kelly play. It's really been all New York here. Second and five from the 30. A bunch to the right. Josh under center. Play action pass. Josh just checks it down to Damian, the best player on offense. And now Steven Sutherland is hurt. We are down to one running back remaining on the roster, Isaiah Flynn. So we hear word on what's wrong with Sutherland, but Flynn taking advantage of his opportunity with a 10-yard rush on first down. First and 10 from the 48, as you see Javon Young with a tackle there. As Josh hit Hunter underneath, Hunter down to the 30-yard line. A really nice run after the catch. As Sutherland, just with a bruised knee, will be back. Let's say first and 10 from the 30. First catch of the game for Hunter. Giants have been doing a very nice job. Containing him as Sutherland. Be able to pick up three on a tough run. As the run game just hasn't really been there today. Second and seven from the 27. Trips to the left for the Huskies. As Josh tried to throw it. Hit as he threw it. Incomplete. Brings up a third and seven. Empty look here for the Huskies. Huge third down. 
as Josh on the run, scrambling away from the pressure, pushed out at the 14. Nice job by Josh to recognize the blitz and just roll out. Get positive yards and a new set of downs. First and 10 now. As Josh lobs this one up, Damien's wide open in the end zone. Touchdown, Huskies. An elite red zone threat with a perfect route into the end zone. Huskies take the lead once again, 21 to 20 midway through this third quarter. Huskies just trying to get into the playoffs here for the third straight season. Trying to clinch the division for the third straight season. Some of these teams are making it very difficult on them. It's a really nice tackle down at the 16. And here comes Elam back out onto the field. And he's been dealing all game long. Is right underneath to the running back Mollard able to pick it up for a huge chunk a 21 20 yard pickup on the run or on the catch on first down brings up first and 10 from the 35 Elam in gun as Shane absolutely drilled the receiver but somehow hang on held on to a ball with a really nice catch as Shane absolutely laid him out. First and 10 from the 49. They go with a run here. Robertson with a receiving touchdown. Only a three yard pickup on that carry. As a Husky send a blitz here. Giants run it and Trey Gordon with a nice play. He's had a couple of big moments for us in with stepping up due to some injuries. Another one right there. Third and five from the 44. And Vigil Hatcher hits Elam as he tried to throw it incomplete. They tried to go with a running back screen and they're going to keep their offense on the field. Fourth and five from the 44. Questionable call here, but I like the aggressiveness and they go underneath and an easy conversion here to the speedster receiver down to the 27 yard line. Giants now over 300 total yards on the game. Third, first and 10 from the 27, three tight ends on the field. They drop back the pass here, wide open across the middle. And barreling his way down to the one yard line. The Huskies look outmatched right now on defense. First and goal from the one. A nice play by some of the linebackers, but Mollard breaking tackle after tackle. Brought down finally. Giants just go right back to Mollard. Easy run up the middle. Takes the lead once again. And now they're going to try and go for two here. Two point conversion to make it a seven point ball game. As a nice play by Darrell White to read it out perfectly. Run over there. The Giants fail on the two point conversion. Keeps it a five point game. Late in this third quarter. The Huskies just need one score and one stop. They could take complete control over this game. But a first and 10 from the 25. Josh under center. It's a handoff to Sutherland and only able to pick up two on the carry. Second and eight now from the 27. Bunch to the right. The play action pass here. As Josh had Hunter wide open downfield and yet again misses him. 
easily would have picked up the first down and more, but a third and eight from the 27. Empty look here for the Huskies. As Josh has Damien once again, easily been the best player on both sides of the ball for the Huskies today. And that will end the third quarter after a huge pickup by Damien. Five catches, 102 yards on the game so far. Did he step out? He did not. The clock just wasn't moving. But the Huskies down five. Entering the fourth quarter. Have the ball at midfield here. First and 10 from the 49. Isaiah Flynn in the backfield gets the handoff. And Flynn with a really nice run. And he's looked really nice today so far. First and 10 from the 39. He might get some more playing time with Drew Stevens out. Bunch to the right for the Huskies here. As Josh checks it on to Hunter, and a great move by Hunter to pick up a nine and a half on the carry or on the catch. Only his second catch of the game. Second and inches now for the Huskies. Go with a play action pass. As Josh fits it right in between two defenders over their heads as Hunter down to the seven yard line. First and goal from the seven. They go with a play action pass here. As Josh is on the move. Only able to pick up one on the carry. Didn't trust any of his options that were running routes and just took off with it. Now a second goal from the six. Five minutes remaining in the game. This is a handoff to Steven Sutherland. Only able to pick up about three and this is where you miss Drew Stevens a third and goal from the three could be four down territory here for the Huskies as Hunter able to hang on and giving the Huskies the lead as the Huskies will go for two here trying to make it a three point ball game Two-point conversion here as they give it to Steven Sutherland who walks into the end zone. Now a three-point ball game with 4.28 left in the fourth quarter. Giants season is over. They have no playoff impact, but they could potentially knock the Huskies out of the playoffs with a loss. With a nice tackle there at the 20-yard line. First and 10 from the 20. Elam back under center. See if they'll try and slow down the pace of the game here as Shane comes up, makes a nice tackle at the 24. Second and six now. Right across the middle of the field. A broken tackle there. Down to the 43. Huskies out of position on the play. Didn't like what they were in. Tried to switch it. And the Giants are moving down field pretty easily. First and 10. Elam taking all the clock he needs here. As Mollard finds a little gap. And is off to the races. Shane able to push him out. And I believe Keith Jackson is hurt. He has not been in the game. And Andrews, the backup free safety, is in the game. The Giants go, but they check down there. That's Andrews. Back-to-back -back plays can't bring down Nick Mollard. Second and five now from the 20-yard line. Giants switching the formation. Go with trips to the left. Right across the middle of the field. Gage and Darrell White bring him down at the 10. But not looking good for the Huskies as the Giants moving the ball really easily right now. 
First and ten from the ten. As Gage comes away with a huge pick. And Elon finally makes his first mistake of the game. He could have taken off. He could have thrown it away. But he threw it right at Gage. As Sutherland takes a three-yard carry there. As Gage possibly with a season-saving pick right there. Second and seven. They go right back to Sutherland. And Sutherland... Stiff arming his way down to the 27 yard line. Trying to ice this game. First and 10 from the 27. Josh under center. They go to Isaiah Flynn here. And Flynn picks up eight. And Barker hurt on the play. Second and two from the 35. A first down will pretty much end it. As Jamal and Damien with some nice blocks. And Sutherland fits through the gap. Picks up the first down. And that one should do it. The Huskies survive. Barring any fumbles. Sutherland picks up five right there. Second and five from the 49-yard line. Flynn in the backfield. It's Flynn picks up the first down, and that will officially do it. Your Orlando Huskies are going to clinch the AFC West for the third straight year and clinch a spot into the playoffs and can even rest some starters next week. As the game doesn't have really any meaning. Let's gauge with the game saving interception. As Josh, 128.6 QB rating, 10 of 21, 238 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Couple of big drops by the receivers. I think three or four drops. His completion percentage, not all his fault. Sutherland, honestly, everybody running the ball was really good, especially Isaiah Flynn. Might get some more carries. Damien, five catches, 102 on the game. Hunter, four catches for 59 yards, a touchdown. Connor Kelly with a huge 77-yard touchdown. And Damien with two touchdowns. Sacks allowed by Alex Stewart and Frank Webster. Dylan led the team in tackles with McCain right behind him. Grimes with a tackle for loss and a sack, a pick from Gage. Packs the pass deflection from Dylan and Gage. No forced fumbles. And your Huskies move to 10 and 6 on the season. And clinch the AFC West. And I'll see y'all in week 18. Peace.